Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today we are back with another community zoo tour. And in this video, we are going to check out this North American zoo called New Hanover National Zoo, made by Tim from Germany, who we also know from an Asian themed zoo called Zoo Yama that we showcased on the channel a while back. Thank you so much, Tim, for sharing another zoo with us for showcase on the channel. Really do appreciate it. And if you have a finished zoo you would like to see me check out on the channel as well, then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your finished zoo. And who knows, I might be able to check out your finished zoo as well on the channel in the future. And before we jump into it, I would like to thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming, because at Instant Gaming, you can get a really great discount on many games like Planet Zoo, The Sims, City Skylines, Jurassic World Evolution, Planet Co Booster, farming simulator, and so many other PC and console games. And by buying via the website, you will get a great discount and you will also be supporting the channel. I will make sure to put a link to their website in the description of this video and in the pinned message of the comment section so you can easily find it. So without further talking, let's go and jump into New Hanover National Zoo. I really do like how you did create like uh, like the, the the double layer right over here which are just extra letters but that works super well i would never think of doing that really love that we have a few little things right over here what do we have we have ticket booth oh i love this so uh just to clarify i think if i remember correctly the entrance and some kind of log cabin are from the steam workshop uh, but most of the stuff is created by Tim itself. I love this this little bus entrance right over here. Look at this. We even have a little parking lot. Oh, that looks so adorable. Oh, and even these signs to remember where you uh, parked your car. Oh, that's really cute. What is that building then? Oh, I really do like this parking lot. It's so adorable. Look at this. What is that? Is this some kind of staff building or something? Or like a hotel? I think it might be a hotel. Seriously? Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, that is looking so good. <laughs> I think it's a hotel, but I can't really tell. The lady designer, the dandy man. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I'm going to park my car here now. <laughs> Such a VIP. Thank you for doing that. I really love that. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the entrance. Oh, also, how you did this with the rocks. Love it. All right, let's go through this beautiful entrance right over here. There are some ATMs here on the side. Uh, online ticket entrance, entrance, entrance. Let's go further right over here. So we have a beautiful little pond here when we enter. Okay, we're gonna follow the signs to the right side. Hopefully I will not miss out on it. You know, guys know me, I, I can do that sometimes. Like, not on purpose. Oh, what a beautiful habitat. What is this? Oh, this is a moose habitat. I love the fencing, by the way. Made with the uh, the African uh, Africa pack logs, for those who wonder. I, I do sometimes get the question when people see these logs, being like, what, what pack is that from? From the Africa pack. They are really good. But what a beautiful habitat. I love the water uh, water effects here that you really clearly hear. Like a waterfall. There's not even a waterfall, but I guess that's, that's from these V of X's right over there. But it works super well to get like this, this vibe going on. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this statue. That is like pretty simple with these uh, stone pillars from the base game. It works super well, actually. I love the little sign in front of it. Oh, this is so gorgeous. Cute little sign here. Wow, really nice habitat here for the moose. Oh, we go under a log, like the little detail. Oh, I love the fencing right over here as well. Looking very nice. Oh, we have bisons on the side as well. So what is this? This is maybe this is maybe the little log cabin that you mentioned. 
That looks really nice as well, by the way. Oh, it's a little restaurant building, but you didn't decorate it on the inside. So we're not going to the inside. <laughs> oh, I love this shelter building as well, by the way. Is this inspired of something? Because I do recognize the shape of it. Looks really good. Feeder is also really nice. Man, I just... I just really would love those type of realistic feeders. They look so good. And so much better than, than these things. Also love this around the tree. I have the feeling I see some 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 shimmering or flickering that you did have a burrow somewhere in Oh my goodness, you have a, a lutistic or albino. This is an albino, I think. Can we see that? Genetics, albino, yes, white shaggy coat. Never saw a bison before with this coat. That's amazing. Uh, what did I want to say? Oh, yes, you, you probably have a burrow connected to a TV screen, so that is why you see the flickering. Yeah, you see the grass flickering right over here. Oh, man, so frustrating. So annoying, but I love this, this bison. Oh, my goodness, you are so gorgeous. Sorry. Oh, even you are flickering. Your hair is flickering as well. <laughs> oh, we have a pronghorn in here as well. Really beautiful river bedding, by the way. Looking absolutely fantastic. Very gorgeous habitat. Really nicely decorated. Oh, I love this as well. Big tree. A flickering tree, that is. <laughs> With a little sign in front of it. Maybe telling a little story about how old the tree is or something like that. Oh, this is a beaver habitat. Oh, look, little guy. You're going to eat. Oh, they're so adorable, aren't they? <laughs> it's been such a long time since I saw these guys up close, so I just really wanted to check. For just about a little second, because you know, I just love it so much. These guys are so cute. A little enrichment item right over here. This one is probably going there. I think because there's no other reason to go here. How is the animation actually here? Is it just a little sniff? Probably is. Are you going to do something? Oh, okay. That was it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It just walked up there and then nothing. Look how gorgeous this looks. Very nice viewing. Ah, oh, little, little uh, waterfall. Oh, I like how you did this. This is a super nice way of adding that water enrichment item and just create a little, like, uh, fake waterfall. Oh, there's even, like, a, a beaver dam right over here. Or how do you call this even? Where they can go into. Oh, that's so cute. I don't like them in arc though. Okay, so now d do I miss out on a sign because we're going down and we can go up, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, this is backstage. Oh, I like how you did this, by the way. That is looking really realistic. I love that. Um, I, okay, I'm just going uh, further right over here. A little underwater viewing gallery for the North American Beaver. Really love this as well. To create a little shade here. Looking really good. Love like your rock formations and stuff. And, and these kind of things to create a wall. That is looking so well. Oh, there are some food and some drinks. Or a staff. Oh, a keeper hut. Yes, I do love that. It's like, mm, in, face if, <laughs> in Facebook, in franchise mode, people would complain about this. But in uh, sandbox mode, you can turn that off. So I love that because I would just love to look into a little keeper hut in real life as well to see how it is. Oh my goodness, did they all just wake up all together? They... <laughs> that was so weird. I've never seen that happening before. All just starting exactly the same animation in a different angle. Super odd, but I love the habitat right over here. Wait, is that wolf actually so much bigger than that one? It what? Wait, 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 wait. So this is a male. This is a female. I have never earlier seen the difference in size that well 
with a male and a female since when did they change that i'm like super sure that this was not the case when at least the game came out i'm pretty sure it's it's not um terrace and viewing point is going up right over here am i missing out on signs again no i do see normal signs only oh man the rock work is so good right over here i'm not entirely sure where we should go so i'm just going to try and not miss out on any habitats love the different height elevations here and like how you created like the different height elevations here with the logs and the rocks and stuff beautiful waterfall looks fantastic this is really cool walking over this habitat come on you guys sing a song for us <laughs> have a little song for us uh oh wait this is the entrance why is it so busy here oh my goodness was there just an animal talk or something not entirely sure. Beautiful reindeer habitat. I like this, that it's like almost connected, but yeah, it's not. That is a really nice way of implementing that habitat. Really gorgeous habitat also, by the way. Um, I have the feeling that maybe this is like also a road that we can take when we get out of the zoo. So maybe we should just continue right over here so the terrace and viewing point we have a nice viewing here oh polar bears now those are animals that we have not seen that often in zoos oh maybe maybe not i don't know look at this oh this is so gorgeous with all the flowers and stuff that's looking so nice for a second, I don't know why, for a second I thought this was a coaster trail. <laughs> coaster track, I mean. Well, how? <laughs> oh, I want to see what kind of habitat that is. I feel like we have to go to the left side. And we will see the polar bears when we uh, go around the zoo completely. So, I feel like we're just going to follow this path right now. What is that? Oh, the Nor uh, North American, no, the, the black-tailed prairie dog. Oh, that's such a cute habitat. I love this little archway. That is so adorable. Also love how you use this, this one from the cherry blossom tree. The rock organ stuff is really good in here. And the different high elevations as well. Very nice sunken habitat. Love the fence here as well. Looks super nice. Oh, what a nice habitat. I really love it. Oh, there's uh, an educator doing a talk. Look at this. Oh, I love this. This is fantastic. Oh, look at this. A little cave area where they can, can uh, warm, warm up with this, this heater. This is looking so freaking good. Absolutely love it. Now, I do wonder... Okay, wait, yes. Okay, so this is the armadillo. So this is not for the black-tailed prairie dog. It's a little armadillo right over here. But on this side, yeah, you see? I'm going to turn this one off, see if that is going to fix it. But I'm not entirely sure. You might have more animals, including a burrow. But it's my. it might be fixing it. Because I don't see any flickering anymore already. <laughs> This is such a cool habitat. I really love this one. Oh man, you guys are so cute. <laughs> I love to see these guys in real life in the uh, Rotterdam Zoo. They have them a lot. They actually are con pretty much connected to like a bison habitat, but there's still like a fence around it. And for some reason, I did I do always see a few of these uh Naughty black-tailed prairie dogs walking around in the bison habitat being like, hey, this is a huge habitat. We like that. <laughs> I didn't really think that it is really uh, what they should, they should be walking. Where they should be walking. What a cute habitat. I love this one. 
Ah, oh, that's adorable. Your rock work and your foliage work is so freaking good. And also with like these log details and stuff and like these, these small little rocks. Really well done. Absolutely love it. So what do we have on this side? Oh, the cougar. Oh, you have a train track like this? That's amazing. There is even like a little uh, oh, mine card, I think you call it. What? That's so good. I love that. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. Really love the theming in here. And the rock work is fantastic as well. Like there's just a small narrow path right over here where they can walk from one side to the other side. It's amazing. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this habitat. Really well done. We have a beautiful waterfall on this side. Oh my goodness, I really am impressed. And so inspired by this habitat. Even like having, this is a road, right? This is like the road texture. That works just so well for an extra texture in a habitat. Uh, oh, look, you even have like the, the, the kids enrichment item. This is, oh, look, there's a little aviary, including a bird. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful bird, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, man, I love this. Okay, where are we going? We have American Alligator, I think that's the sign. I don't see, oh, there's, there's one in the water. Wow, really like it. Again, like the, the path texture in here and then the grass around it. Looking super well. Love these funds as well, by the way. Also used right over here. Works so well. Hi. <laughs> I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> because you're so far away. Ugh, scary. Okay, what do we have? There's a little shelter right over there and a connection for the keeper gate. And a little glass wall as well. Love this. This is looking so good. Little aviary in here as well. That bird is also fantastic. I, I, I'm not sure if you made them yourself. I can imagine these kind of things are also downloaded from the workshop. Which I totally do not mind because, I don't know, these, these are like the small things. Just like backstage props and stuff. Like, obviously, I don't mind that, but as long as, like, 90% of the zoo is made by the creator, I absolutely don't mind that. There are some blueprints used for it. Oh my goodness, I love this. The fencing, the different high elevations, the planter right over here with the little rocks and the flowers around it. It looks so stunning. Even this staircase looks so good. What a beautiful little restaurant. It's so cozy. Oh man, okay, wait, where do we need to go? There's, oh, there are skunks here. <gasps> Look how awesome this looks, a little barrel around it. This is so good. Oh, wow. I love this idea, like integrating it as if it's like maybe just the backyard of that building. There's a lot of uh, messed up food. Even this, by the way. I don't know if you guys noticed it right away, but it's like if there is that concrete, cement, I'm not sure, cementing paste. <laughs> but at least like it's not just using these uh, these rocks. It's like actually making it feel like a wall with with the material in between it. I'm not sure how it's called, cementing paste. Probably. Oh man, I love this. It's so creative. Oh, you even have like a bee field. Oh my goodness. I, I had to, <laughs> I was shocked for a second here. I thought it was a wasp, but for those of you that have been following my Twitter, um, we have a wasp, uh, a wasp uh, we say wasp in the Netherlands, but we have a wasp problem in our house. Uh, luckily, I have not seen any wasp the past few days, and I think that's because of the rain uh, on the outside. 
It's been raining quite a lot of days now in the Netherlands. Uh, but yeah, like mostly if it's not raining, every morning I have one or two wasps inside of our house on the windows. And it's it's driving me insane because I'm super scared of these animals. And um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> slowly starting to become uh, m even more traumatized after the first time I was stung a few years ago. And now I'm like dreaming about it, like the, the wasps are coming upstairs <laughs> and stuff. It's like super scary. I hate wasps and we just don't know where the nest is. So as long as we don't have a, have a nest location, we just can't call anyone to, uh, to remove them. Anyways, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I just really wanted to share that because it's just so scary. So make sure to follow me on Twitter if you want to stay updated about my wasp story. <laughs> okay, about this habitat because I really love this habitat i don't know what it is the rock formations are fantastic the logs inside of here this one with a little ladder and then like this this little box on top of it it was looking so freaking good even like this little little basket right over here as if they can uh, get into it the fact that you created like these these uh trees i i would never have thought of creating my own tree with these logs and oh my goodness this is so freaking good it works incredible i've never thought that we'll be using the little details right over here it's fantastic oh my goodness even this right over here look at this Wow, I think this is the most inspiring raccoon habitat that I've ever seen. There are so many things I just want to steal from you right away. Absolutely amazing stuff. Really, really love it. Oh yes, now we're going to the aquatic area of the zoo. Wait, is this then the other... Okay, wait, I think we should go through here. Or not. Oh, look at this. This is so heavily themed. Absolutely love it already. And we have not seen the habitat even yet. Oh my gosh, look at this. What? This is so good. Oh, you can see one swim here. Yes. Oh, wow. Look at this. The new Hanover Arena. Oh my goodness, I love this. And then they can like jump through here. Oh wait, okay, we're gonna go around here. Just take the official route, lady. Uh, no, we're not going there. Look at this. This is so cool. Wow. Oh, I love this. Oh, this, this, I, I think we can call it like a harbor area. Is looking fantastic. Oh, wow. Absolutely love this. This is freaking amazing. Really good. And I love this, that they can jump and just, just hit the ball. Oh, wow. Definitely my favorite habitat from this area. I wonder if you have an underwater viewing gallery. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You kidding me? These clothes are fantastic. Okay, what do we have? We have seals right over here. Look at this. Look at the fencing with these these little pieces as well. That is just fantastic again. Ah, oh, New Hanover Port. And the ice cream. You kidding? Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> oh, this is so good. Fries and fish. Can they actually go in here and, and buy? Oh, no. I thought maybe Monsieur Frit was hidden around here or something. There, there are like seatings from a restaurant building, so I'm not sure. Maybe it's, it's hidden somewhere in one of these buildings. Wow, this is looking so freaking good. I, I do want to check because... Okay, yes, there should be... Oh, okay, there is. I just wanted to be sure that we're not missing out on... Oh, wow, look at this building. On any underwater viewing gallery or something. This is like part of a boat. What? <laughs> Fantastic.
fantastic stuff, Tim. Oh, this this area is definitely the highlight of your zoo. Oh, I don't know actually. You have so many great things in here. It is beautiful. I love that little watchtower as well. By the way, okay, let's go deep sea expedition. Look how awesomely themed this is. And we go down. Oh, this is so good. Unfortunately, there is no... Oh, yes, there they are. Yes, they are swimming. Look at the beautiful rock work and the foliage work around here. It looks so realistic and so natural. Only the movement of the gray, of the gray seals is not that natural sometimes. But that is not you to blame because there is tons of water here. And tons of space for them to move around. So it's not like, oh, it's too narrow. So their, their movement should be clipping. But I don't know. They, they're, it feels like something has changed. Because they have never looked that static or something. They, they move that static. Oh, look at this. You can even sit down here. Oh, this is so nice. I think that the seals, uh, the, the, the sea lions also move a little bit odd. I don't know. I can't remember that they, they did move that unrealistic. Like sometimes they do, but. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we're not going to tell anything. The habitat is great, Tim. That is definitely not on you. Wait, what did you do here? There is a red floor, and then there is green underneath it. I'm trying to think why that is. Is that something you have from real life? A reason why that is a thing? I don't know. I really don't know. It does look very cool. Very nice on the water viewing gallery for the penguins. Wait, was that the sea? Yes, okay, so we can go back up. Oh, I love this area so much. It's super inspiring. Look at this, how awesome this looks. Oh, that might have something to do with just the shape of the boat or something, like a, the bottom of the boat or something. <laughs> it's hilarious that they're able to, to climb out of here, actually. It's not even like getting into the water completely but yet they are able to climb up there that's very interesting and they're able to climb up here this is a really cool habitat with the boat integrated in here also oh my goodness look at this this is looking so freaking good i love this with all these little little open archways the rock work is so freaking good tim absolutely impressive like it's really really good the albatross wow really like this this area a lot is this anything uh like a habitat as well i don't think so the way of using these v of axes makes the whole water feel so much more realistic you did such a great job on this whole area with the with everything. Wait a second, I actually didn't realize these are the African penguins? Oh, they are the African penguins, and then we have the king penguins right over here. Wow, look at this rock work as well. Wow. The combination of like white and gray rocks they just look so good. Very, very beautiful. Absolutely amazing. We are expanding. I love that you did that. Look at this. <laughs> yes, I I love this zoo. This is so inspiring. There's so much to see in here. All right, let's see. Where do we uh, where do we go from here? Look at this. The polar bear habitat. Look at that crane. This is amazing. Now clearly this this habitat has been made in sandbox mode because with the requirements of the polar bear, you can't even get three adults in franchise mode, I think. 
I think only two adults and then the their oh <laughs> their babies. Oh my goodness, the first time when I saw the polar bear jump in the water like this in my city zoo, I was like, I was talking to Rudy me like, oh my goodness, this is going to be the start of them deep diving and such. And and that was indeed the case because we didn't have deep diving back then. But the jump already looked like, oh yes, we're gonna get some deep diving in the game. And it took quite some time still after that before we actually saw that, but I don't know. The jump just, just revealed it for me that there was something going to happen. Actually, did we see this, this viewing gallery already? <gasps> we need to go back. We need to go back. Where do we go in? Where do we go in? These are toilets. The Arctic Exploration Center. Oh my goodness, we almost missed out. Look how fantastic this all looks, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, man. The lighting in here is so freaking good. This... Oh, I can't get over it. What a beautiful habitat. It's so original and so creative. I've never seen anything like this before. It is absolutely fantastic. And we have a view in here. It's just perfect. Everything is placed on such a well, a nice and good spot. What is that? Are we, are we going there as well? I hope so. Okay, we have the underwater viewing gallery for the penguins. Maybe also the the polar bear. There's none swimming right over here. Like zero. But the rock rig looks very nice. Look at this little educational area for the penguins this is looking so freaking good oh we can go up right over here there's a cosmic cow and a polar bear on the water viewing unfortunately also no polar bears deep diving it looks so cool the deep diving well actually real life deep diving looks a lot better <laughs> wait what is that there's a little elevator. Just kidding. Oh, there are so many ways to go up and down here. Oh, well, no, this is where we where we went down, actually. What do we have here? <gasps> little Arctic Fox Cave. Oh, that's so cute. I like this. Oh, and then you have like a beautiful more lush habitat right over here. Really nice foliage work in here and rock work. This is looking so good. I'm surprised that the Arctic Fox is so quiet. Oh, video hop puff. Nom nom. They're not really impressed by food. Oh, now I hear one. There, there's one very far away, by the way. Making some noises. Okay, this is the raccoon habitat. So this was the other side. Did we already see that? No, that is the rat fox. You see, I'm actually missing out on some habitats, unfortunately. Apologies for that. Doing my best to see everything. Really do like this ha <laughs> habitat as well. Oh, it's so happy. <laughs> the box was a lot less happy though. <laughs> it just vanished. But what a beautiful habitat this is as well. I do think that we have seen everything here. Yes, oh, this is the restaurant. I was so impressed by the restaurant that I just did not see that there was a rat fox on the other side. Love the walls right over here as well. Okay, so we're going back here. And then we go to the polar bears on the water viewing. Yes, okay, we go back here to the polar bears. I think we have seen everything now on that side. Go around here and then we have like peaks into the polar bear habitat from different angles which look amazing as well. You really did a great job in detailing the habitat. Oh wait, this is- oh no, we actually also just seen everything already. Oh, look at the rock rock right over here. It's so beautiful. You really know 
your rock work and your foliage work. It is looking so freaking beautiful. Okay, so we have seen the reindeers. I think we have seen everything. We're just going around here. What kind of building is this then? Oh, this is the entrance from the side. I didn't recognize it right away. Oh my goodness, Tim, you did such a fantastic job on this North American zoo. I really loved it. I enjoyed it so much. There were so many really original and inspiring ideas in a zoo. Congratulations with this beautiful zoo. You must be so proud of yourself. Everyone, do let me know in the comments down below what was your most favorite or most inspiring part of this zoo. And of course, as always, leave something nice for Tim in the comments down below and go to that Steam Workshop page in the description of this video and leave a like there to appreciate their hard work. And of course, leave a like at this video and make sure to subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys! Thank you.